Okay, everyone, we're gonna talk about winning in the second quarter of 2018. Let me ask you this. Are you, do you like winning there, Tom? Yeah, of course he does. And what we're gonna do, I'm a betting man, but I only bet on the things that I can guarantee on. So let's talk about this market. It's been a transitional market. We're hearing about like, you know, buyers' expectations are here, vendors' expectations are up there, and we're trying to close that gap. So what are the things that we can guarantee going into quarter two to really have you winning in this quarter? So let's talk about first, buy management. What are you actually doing with buy management? If you're not doing anything different than you were doing last year, I'd say you better be careful because your business can become very, very vulnerable right now. So here's a couple of things that I would suggest doing around your buy management over this next quarter. Firstly, think about callbacks. Now generally, I was just talking to an agent the other day. He said he was doing callbacks on a Monday morning. He rang 30 people that came through an open for inspection. Guess how many connections or conversations he had? Four, four out of 30, that's a really low conversion. So this is what the top guys are doing in the marketplace today. Are you ready? You got your pen, you got your paper? Write this down. Number one is they're doing Saturday afternoon callbacks. Yes, hear me out, Saturday afternoon callbacks. Why? Most people are around on a Saturday afternoon and if you've met them in the morning or early afternoon and you can reconnect with those people in that later in that afternoon, guess what? You're gonna have a better quality conversation and they'll be much more engaging for you. Second thing is we've gotta to get to second round callbacks. That should happen on a Monday afternoon. I recommend anything from 4.30 onwards to about 6.30. Two hours, great window of opportunity to speak to some people for this second round of callbacks from your open homes. Third one I'd normally say is Wednesday night. You've got to stay one night where you're gonna go back a little bit more and we need to double and triple down with this sort of work. So that could be like from five to seven o'clock on a Wednesday night doing your third round of callbacks. That's right, but here's the big one. Fourth round of callbacks. You're saying, Claudia, fourth round? Yes, that's what it takes. Let me tell you why. I had a client that I'm working with to sell a property, it was getting close to the expiry of the agency over 90 days. It took him 467 calls to get that property sold because he actually measured it. That's like 100, 200 times more than he would normally do to get that property sold from last year, but this year it took him that many calls to get the property sold. So what do you do on a Friday? Friday morning, fourth round of callbacks, do them early. 7.30 to maybe 9 or 9.30. Think about Friday, people and buyers are generally like, you know, happy, the weekend is coming, it's Friday morning, they might be going to work, and guess what, they're probably more at ease because the weekend's coming to take your call and have a conversation with you. So there's four round of callbacks that are happening there. Now here's a biggie, another thing that some of my guys that are doing with their properties to get them sold and work with buyers is do Sunday open homes. Some people look at me going, Sunday open homes? Do I need to do that? Yep, yeah, it's about rolling your sleeves up in this market. You may need to do a little bit more than you usually done. But the great thing about Sunday open homes is this, the people that are turning up, you might get maybe two, three or four, but guess what? They're hot buyers, they're quality, right? You're not getting some people that are driving past and they see an open home sign. They're like, the ones that are turning up on an open to a Sunday are the hot qualified buyers. So I would recommend do your Sunday opens as well. So, more callbacks need to be done. Second, two, three, four types of round of callbacks. You need to be doing Sunday open homes, right? And you've got to start changing your times as to when you're doing your callbacks as well. And the last one I would really recommend in this marketplace is you need to have a hot list. Top 20, your top 20 hot buyers in this market today. Why? We put things into a computer and guess what happens? It goes into the universe, woo, and then we go, where did that buyer go? When you have it in front of you and you see it every day, it gives you a reason to think, what can I do with that person to get them one step closer to finding their dream home? And that's our job, that's our service, that's what we get paid for. So in this video series about winning, you need to double down, triple down on your buy work.